good morning and welcome back to Posh Gas Camping in France. And I should say, bonjour. It's um, the final day here at uh, Les Sols, um, which is in the Chevigny. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. And uh, I've just realised I haven't taken you for a walk around the site. So this is the entrance. You've heard a few cars going past. It's not on a busy road as such. Um, but this is a private entrance down to the campsite and on the left there's a lovely pond which has been um, full of frogs. You might just hear the odd frog but they've been screaming at night, they've been shouting their heads off. It's that time of year I think, we're in June and uh, they've been making a lot of noise over when the sun goes down and uh, let's have a look at the pond. Just as you enter the site, this is a crazy golf. We've left the campsite and we're going for a walk. It's quite warm, but it's overcast, so it's not full sun today. And we've walked about, I don't know, about half a mile from the campsite. The next village of uh, Cheverly. I'll put the name on the bottom of the screen. But that's the nearest village to this campsite. You can drive it in five minutes. Um, and we're going to walk it in 20. <laughs> so.
so uh, it's about a mile and a bit depending on whether you want to go this end or the other end of the village I suppose it could be at least a couple of miles to the far end of the village but uh, we've taken we've got the dogs with us got uh, Oscar on a long lead here and we're walking across uh, a footpath or a cycle path across the fields which is um, really lovely and uh, not a breath of air <laughs> well, I've been walking along the cycle path here and uh, just coming into the village now the uh, village of Cheveny there's the village sign just across the road there and we've got to walk down where that coach is turn left at the roundabout and then we're right in the village just walking along the first part of the village now and there's a little laundry patisserie over the road here that's closed we noticed that as we came in with the van but further up there's a there's a few more Good morning. We have come to Chateau de Lambord, which is huge. It, I'll put it on screen again. Um, it, it's only about 25 minutes from our campsite, and it's a uh, well. Google Maps made it complicated. We should have used the sat nav that we got from Caravan and Motorhome Club. The Garmin system would have got us here straight away, but we thought, ah, no, it's only just up the road. We'll pick through the villages. Yeah, right. So we um, 
we got here safely anyway and we've left the dogs in the van it's cooler today cloudy skies and there's a there's a, a, a nice breeze it is quite humid but um, we used uh, aircon in the van the van was nice and cool when we arrived it's not blistering hot so we are going to monitor the dogs we'll be going back in an hour or so to check them they're just in the camping car area just to the side of the chateau now behind me here yeah, other where you pay to go in you can rent these little carts uh, behind me here and cycles and uh, around the moat of this place um, you can rent punts as well which is rather interesting so um, little electric cars bikes and punts it says and uh, there's a bridge here across the moat and there's lots of outbuildings and it looks like there's a ticketing area there as well but we've paid at the uh, punt and uh, electric bike station and they're all heading across that bridge just over there so I think what I'm going to do is leg it so I don't get lost because I'll get left behind, I always do um, so let's go and have a look and the chateau just in the distance over there it's going to be a good one I see Sue and Sheila walking across the bridge and the chateau behind the trees there quite an impressive building don't you think it's a photographer's heaven isn't it Joe you can see people up on the roof of the building up there walking around on the chateau there's a uh, restaurant and bar on site here beautiful buildings and just round to the left here that looks like there's a little market and more coffee shops and things
So here we are, several rows of motorhomes as, uh, on this air, and we noticed that, that there's toilets over here. I'm wondering whether they were actually you were allowed, allowed to overnight. We're just going to have a look on the ticket machine and see what it says, because pit were up on blocks there, and a couple of them had got their satellites up. Ticket in hand, um, 11 euros, and that was for what about three, four hours, about 10 pounds in it, which is probably what we spend at home to be honest. We're going to head off now from Chambard, from the chateau here, into the village, and we think there's an Intermarche supermarket, so that's where we're going to go and get some, some more provisions.